Welcome to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to do a review of the Dragon Prince Battle Charge. Now it's two to six players, 10 plus, 30, 45 minutes. Um, this is kind of a skirmish game, card drafting. Um, pretty much you're just using the card's uh, powers uh, to attack each other, move, and it's based on a Netflix uh, cartoon. Uh, just a great skirmish game, one of the better ones we played uh, this year. And so we're just going to jump right into the review so we can get into more detail. So for the rules, I would give it five out of five great rules. So you have your game overview, your components, your game setup. And one thing I like about the rules is that it actually has the icon, uh, and like the images. It also details what each and every card does and how it looks. Um, it gives you the movement and terrain. Um, it pretty much very detailed and easy to read. And so it just covers any question that you could think of. It also, have, it also has FAQs. Um, it has a player variant, five, six uh, rules videos, which a QR code and credits. It also has a quick start guide which has icon, keys, card types, uh, affiliate symbols, movement, map legends. Uh, the map legends pretty much like the white right around here and the reds on certain maps you can't see through so you wouldn't be able to attack in those angles. You have your setup, actions, energy, movement, combat, and winning. And also the cards also have information uh, like movement speed, which you'll be able to move three on the grid. Uh, this is the line of sight, and this is the attack. Each character has their own. Uh, so, and you have your character information. So just uh, rules overall, five out of five. Everything's uh, great with the rules, quick start guide, and the icons on the characters. So component quality, I would give it five out of five. Great component. The cards are actually thick. You could actually probably shuffle them, although I don't shuffle cards anymore with on board games because I just, uh, from past experiences, um, but these I'm sure you probably could shuffle. Uh, the cardboard is nice and thick, and you get quite a few uh, different landscapes. Um, I think there's four more, but each one has their own different way of battling and uh, different things that you could do. The cards are great, like I said. Um, then you have the dice that are well designed. These are the victory tokens. Person gets three wins. Um, there's a lot more car, uh, more elements and I just pulled this because this would be the easiest way to uh, show some of the elements. Uh, but there's a lot more stuff, cards, characters, and everything that you get with the game. Um, but great components, five out of five. Uh, overall experience, I would give it like a 4.5 out of five, um, just because there was uh, just a little bit of balancing issues, uh, especially in the first game. Um, for the first game, we I chose two characters. Which, when you're battling two on two, you choose two characters each player. Uh, the first two characters I chose were way overpowered, and so I ran through my son's uh, team very quick, um, which may, you know, left a bad taste in his, you know, he he just had a hard time bouncing back from it. Um, but the second game we flip-flopped, and so he enjoyed it a lot better. But uh, great game, um, great experience. Just uh, wish that uh, some of the characters are just a little bit overpowered. I can understand why, because of the uh, cartoon, I'm sure that some characters are stronger and better than others. And, and it's probably represented also in the game, the board game, in the cards. So 4.55. Um, so mechanics, I would give it a 5 out of 5. Great mechanics. Um, so what you're doing is pretty much uh, moving your characters. Um, normally you would have two or two. Uh, you realize a lot more characters, especially as um, more players. But 
you move your characters on the grid, determine it on your player. Um, some you so you can either use uh, the player information, which is like a three move line side one and to attack, or you could use a move card. You could use either or. You can't use both. So you would use your move card, which you can move four instead of three. And then also when you attack, you could do the line side one and two attack, or you could do um, line side one, two attack, line side one, three attack. Um, but there's uh, technique, react, and ongoing cards. Those cards you'd be able to use um, as many times as you want. The react is you can use as many times as you want. Technique, you can use as many times as you want. And those a lot of times give you health, charge, or um, extra attack or sight. Um, the, here's the infinite symbol, and those pretty much stay in play until they get removed by another your opponent's card. And so, and then you just keep attacking each other, getting closer, just like um, most skirmish games, and you're using cards to, um, you know, buff up your characters, or uh, th th um, this character gets like uh, pets, kind of. And so you're able to pretty much uh, helps you in attack and movement, different other things. Um, so you win by getting three other victory tokens, whoever gets the three victory tokens, uh, the fastest pretty much wins. Uh, so great, great mechanics. Um, can't wait until they incorporate more characters. Um, there's very little downtime in the mechanics, and so you're always playing fast because the cards are um, pretty easy to uh, determine. You, you only have a uh, certain you know hand size. Um, you draw up to seven cards, so and it's, it's just go, the game goes fairly fast. It's it says 30, 45 minutes. I would say uh, venture to probably 25 to um, 50 minutes um, because it's just it, the game could go either quick really fast or uh, take a while to determine on if someone's uh, playing defense and keeps back in or if they just clash. So mechanics, five out of five. Uh, replayability, five out of five. Uh, because there's going to be so many... Um, more characters with a lot of these cartoons that could be implemented in the game. And also as more seasons come about, uh, there'll be more characters that are, you know, introduced in the cartoon, which they will be able to introduce in the game and add more cars that do more, um, more varied powers and more uh, things that you could do. And hopefully they um, build some more uh, of the landscape. So replayability, five out of five. Overall total, I would give it like a 4 out of 5, um, 8 out of 10. Uh, great game. Um, really enjoyed it. It's um, be from beginning, middle, and um, the progression was good. Uh, you're just building up your cards. You're able to, you know, hold your cards more, and you're able to uh, use a lot of the cards that are infinite or stronger cards. So once you attack, you, you'll definitely know that you actually beat your opponent. So you can plan ahead. So that's one thing. And there's a lot of tension once you're, uh, you two are getting close to clashing. So the game does a great job about you know having that tension. Um, the cards are really nice that so you could uh, beef up your uh, attack and sight and movement. So, and then there's, um, this character has pets. This one is able to move and backwards and charge and both of them pretty much could charge as they, and pretty much at the end of the turn. So high replayability. Um, so like I said, uh, overall total is like, you know, four out of five, um, eight out of 10. Uh, great game. And I can see this uh, expanding as time goes on. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. My social media is down below in the description. Uh, I'm gonna have a link where to buy the game. And I'll see you in the next video.